Hey, what's happening guys? I am glad that the video on the op amps the other day raised a lot of talk and uh, questions. I do have an entire playlist on op amps. Be sure to check them out. But I'm going to try and answer one of the biggest questions that I got asked in today's video. Is an op amp a comparator? Is a comparator an op amp? Yes and no. Let's first look at the basic ways that op amps can be set up. This is the inverting amplifier form of an op amp, and it's probably one of the most uh, prominent ways that you'll see an op amp set up. And in this case, the non inverting input goes to ground. From output, we send it back through a feedback resistor. To the not or to the inverting input, and then we have an input resistor here. So this is RF, this is RN, and this is VN. And then we can take our output right there. And what happens is this creates the negative feedback loop, and that is the inverting amplifier version. Now we also have the non-inverting of this mode and it looks pretty similar. You know, of course we'll start with our op amp. In this case we're going to put our non-inverting input on top, our inverting input on the bottom. And our VN in this case comes directly to the non-inverting input and then once again we have a feedback resistor here and it feeds into the inverting input and then we also send it through another resistor to ground. So there we have the inverting and the non-inverting forms of the op amp as an amplifier. Now it can also be set up as the comparator. So let me just draw another op amp here for you. We'll put the inverting on top, non-inverting on the bottom. There are our output. There are our two inputs. Now, in this case, I'm just going to draw our VCC rail and our ground rail here. And you know that all these op amps do require these connections. But I'm going to put it like that. And how we're going to set this up as the comparator is quite simple. We're going to set a voltage divider here from rail to rail. And that is going to connect to the non-inverting input. And then the inverting input is where we'll connect our VN. And if the VN is higher, or lower than the inverting input, then the comparator will switch on. So that's the main configurations of the op amp. I know pretty simplified stuff. So let's answer the questions. Are all op amps comparators? I'm going to say yes, but it's going to be a qualified yes because I am sure somebody somewhere sometime has designed an op amp that can't be used as a comparator and one of you guys will call me on it. So yes, in general, all op amps are comparators unless somebody's created one that isn't. Are all comparators op amps? No. You can set up any op amp as a comparator because all you're doing is you're using the inverting and the non-inverting inputs and you're switching it on when one exceeds the other. But there are specified comparators that you can buy that cannot be used as amplifier. Amplifiers are set only to be used as comparators. So all op amps can be comparators, yes. All comparators can be op amps, no. If I'm wrong, I look forward to your responses. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, Give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.